Hello everyone, this will be a quick video. I've got two pictures pulled up. I've got one of the house with a boring sky. The other photo is the sky that I'm going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and select the picture, copy it, bring it back over here to the house where I'm going to use it. Uh, I'm on a Mac, I'm going to hit uh, Command V to paste it, Command T to transform. I'm going to resize this to where I want it on the house. Get it right to where I want it, and I'm going to click Return. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the house layer here, the background. Bring it down, duplicate it, bring it to the top, create a mask. All right. I'm going to go over here and get the magic wand, and I'm going to use a tolerance of 25. By the way, what tolerance does is the higher the number is, the more different uh, colors that it's going to select and the lower the number it gets really picky about what it's going to select but I've get a lot of different shades of blue and almost white here so tolerance is up to 25 I'm going to click somewhere as you can see it didn't click everything even though I have 25 tolerance I'm gonna hold shift click again select more didn't get everything shift click again now there's a different shade of blue over here in this little tiny area I'm gonna hit shift get that now before I do my next step, I'm going to go ahead and grab the brush, paint with black, 100% uh, would help of opacity, bring in that uh, sky. Now I'm going to hit select and uh, similar. So what I'm trying to do is get all these areas that it didn't select in between the tree leaves. So I'm going to hit similar, boom, it starts to get the things in between the trees. So now I'm going to paint there. Why didn't I do that from the get-go? Because sometimes it selects parts of the house. So with that first selection, I can get the main areas without it blending into the house. Get those areas in between. Let's say, for instance, it did not get everything I want. I can always go back to tolerance, raise it, let's say, to 30. Go back to select similar, and it'll select even more in between the trees. And I can brush again if it didn't get everything the first time. I'm going to hit Command D to deselect everything. I'm going to go to the layer with the uh, sky selected. I'm going to go to Adjustments. I'm going to go to Brightness Contrast. I'm going to slide Brightness to where it matches pretty good. Bring down the contrast just to give it a little bit better form there. And then at the end, I'm just going to go ahead and flatten the image. And there you go. That uh, is a sky replacement. 